Welcome to the video where we're going to be looking through three examples where we're going to be differentiating inverse trig functions. Let's find a derivative of this first function. We're going to have three examples here. Arc sine to the 6 of 2x plus 4. What do you see first? I see, basically, I see here chain rule twice. The most inside function is a polynomial 2x plus 4. This function is inside of arc sine, which is inverse trig function. But arc sine is raised to the sixth power. If you don't see it clearly this way, then you can write arc sine of x plus 4 and everything raised to the sixth power. Now you can see that the sixth power actually is the last step. So that's what we're going to be differentiating first. So f prime will be 6 goes down, copy everything, and that means arc sine of 2x plus 4, change the exponent by decreasing by 1, so it's going to be to the 5, and you don't have to keep those brackets, you can just actually write down 5 over here, where it used to be, times, now next step will be in blue color, derivative of the one function inside, what is the next function inside? The next function I'm looking at arc sine, derivative of arc sine is 1 over a square root input my uh, 1 minus input squared 1 minus and what is the input 2x plus 4 that's my input squared you see that's very visual here this is derivative of the arc sign and finally in uh, purple color it will be times a derivative of the function inside the function inside is 2x plus 4 so it's times 2 you can speed yourself up by right away writing it this uh, this way 6 arc sine to the 5 to x plus 4 all over the square root shows up because it's derivative of arc sine 1 minus input squared input is 2x plus 4 squared and then times 2 this way it will speed you up on a test if you get it if you get it what how this all showed up from where it is those are three things glued together and to simplify it's, there's only one step missing. 6 times 2 is 12. Done. Put it in the box. Here it is. Now, the next example will be almost like this. Uh, almost the same, but with product rule. But it still has chain rule, as you can see. But this time it has also product rule. So, I see a product of 2x squared function and arctangent or tangent minus 1 function of 8x squared u times v basically that's how i teach it you guys know it f prime is derivative of u that's simple 4x copy v that is arctangent of 8x squared plus copy u that's 2x squared and basically the hardest part here is to differentiate arctangent Arctangent, I remember it has no square root and also has 1 in a denominator, but it's still 1 plus input squared. That's how I memorized the formula. Input is 8x squared. So derivative of arctangent is 1 over 1 plus input squared times the derivative of the function inside. Either you write it on the right or you right away put it in the numerator over here. Then it uh, just looks better this way. But if you want me to have good notes for you, I will keep it on the right. Times derivative of the 8x squared, derivative of the function inside. That is 16x. So everything in the end here is derivative of arctangent. Simplify 8x arctangent or tangent minus 1 of 8x squared plus... Now 2 times 16, that's 32, x squared times x, that's x cubed, all over 1 plus, and then either you keep it as um, 8 uh, x squared, everything squared, or you can actually rewrite it as 8 squared, that's 64, x squared squared, that's x to the 4 and put it in the box that is the answer not too bad right 
even though we have product rule, it's actually pretty doable if you do it by step by step. Just make sure you identify u prime v plus u v prime. Simple as that. We started with simple product rules and now you see how far you guys learned. Now you know how to do inverse trig functions. And the last one, third example. Third example, chain rule twice again. How do I know? It's basically the same idea as the first example. First arc sine is squared. So that's going to be the first thing I have to do to work out the square part. Y prime, or in this case it's F prime. F prime equals 2 goes down, copy this arc sine, copy the it is. Remember, you don't have rights to change it until you finish uh, working with the first derivative. And the first derivative here is 2 goes down, everything will be now to the 1. And the second derivative, not the second derivative, like we're differentiating second time, but I mean now it ha will be derivative of the second function inside. What's the second function in the order? Again, if you imagine it as a Russian doll, this is how I like teaching it. The, fun the outside Russian doll is everything uh, is squared. So it was u squared. We figured it out, 2u to the 1. Then the next Russian doll, why it's so ugly? <laughs> the next Russian doll is arc sine, right? So sine minus one of let call let's call it v whatever. So now I'm differentiating arc sine. I know the derivative of arc sine is one over so square root one minus input squared five x plus three squared input squared. You see, I always say input to remind myself not to touch five x plus three. You just square it input squared. Finally, the last piece of the Russian doll like uh, inside, is what is inside? 5x plus 3. 5x plus 3. That's my v. So u squared, u was uh, arc sine. Then arc sine of v. v is 5x plus 3. Derivative of the function inside is 5. I would put it in the numerator right away to speed up the process. So the function looks like Mm, double chain rule, right? So you got it, double chain rule. Let's simplify it. You can actually merge everything to one single fraction. 5 times 2 is 10. Then I have sine minus 1. Remember, sine minus 1 is not 1 over sine. That's the notation reserved for arc sine. So it's not this, it's not fraction. It's not 1 over sine. But uh, there is a square root in the denominator, 1 minus input squared. Do not uh, do anything with this input squared. It's actually good as it is. Do not touch it, do not do square of some formula here. Not, that's not necessary. And that is the answer. Kind of the same thing as the first example, but uh, a little bit different, I would say. Mm, that's all. That's all, that's how you see it. Chain rule every single time. And I highly recommend you to say it out loud. 1 over square root, 1 minus input. But my input is some kind of function. Or, like in the previous example, 1 over the square root, no, 1 over 1 plus input squared. But my input squared was 8x squared. And that was easy to square, so we did that. And we, rewrote, we wrote it as 64x to the 4. But usually you don't have to do it. Usually you don't have to rewrite. And the first example still was arc sine to the 6. 6 goes down to the 5. And then derivative of arc sine, and then derivative of the function inside, which is just 2. Not too bad, not too bad. You're getting better at this, I can feel it. So practice more, and I will see you in my next video.